You want to know why I signed up with Occupy? Is that right? Sure. Okay. Whatever. Whatever you want to say about Occupy or yourself or Grinnell, anything. Yeah. Um, well, I got uh, interested in Occupy because it seemed uh, that they were a political action group. It wasn't tied to either of the major political parties uh, that uh, had it, uh, enough uh, people thinking about uh, uh, issues and uh, realizing what uh, some of the obvious symptoms of things going wrong in our society were that they could uh, apply uh, such pressure as they could bring to bear at the uh, right points. And they seem to uh, be, I don't want to say effective in making change, but effective in calling people's attention to the uh, difficulties that the economy is having because of the uh, uh, criminality and fraud in the uh, 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 financial and banking industries. Uh, and about some of the limitations of uh, uh, political action through the uh, electoral process in a uh, uh, kind of time in which uh, campaign finance reforms have uh, uh, failed, have not passed through Congress, and uh, so that uh, elections at the national level are driven by money contributed by corporations and uh, wealthy contributors. Uh, to whom the uh, people who are elected feel really indebted. Uh, these are big uh, problems in our society. It's impossible for the uh, stock political parties to, to address them. It's really difficult to figure out how to get a handle on them at all. Occupy seemed to me to have uh, as good a chance of anybody as uh, doing so. I admired the fact that Occupy was really uh, uh, decentralized, that you could sort of start up and uh, uh, see what the people around you uh, felt as you became uh, a participant in what is more, much more a community organization than a national organization, from my point of view anyway. I like the fact that it was not strongly hierarchical even within the organization, that uh, I'm a great skeptic about the notion of uh, uh, leadership uh, in general and about uh, people sorting themselves out by their degree of intensity of attraction to power. Uh, I like the fact that uh, uh, even the uh, General Assemblies had a sort of uh, uh, step up, step back convention uh, in which the people that I was accustomed to hearing from speaking on uh, many different occasions uh, would uh, pull back a little bit and uh, listen more than they usually did to other speakers. And the people who were uh, shy or hesitant to put forward their own political ideas were encouraged to come forward and do so. I really like that uh, feature of Occupy. So I think between the attractiveness of the governance structures and the attractiveness of the aims of the organization as uh, I understood them, uh, I became a great uh, sympathizer with it. Uh, the Occupy Grinnell that I belong to has um, a very strong uh, tendency towards uh, nonviolence is the most constructive way to uh, address a lot of social problems. And we have a, a sort of pledge of nonviolence in our uh, direct actions that I believe in very strongly. Um, and this is one thing that not all occupies uh, do, but I think that we're likely to find that the occupies that are most effective and do the most to advance the, uh, the general uh, um, degree of approval for the uh, political and economic views that we want to advance. I think those will be the uh, occupies that learn how to use nonviolence in the uh, most uh, creative and uh, insightful ways. You have any questions? Um, well, uh, <coughs> would you like to give your name? Oh yeah, I should uh, maybe have done that at the front. Yeah, I just uh, thought of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, John Stone. Uh, I'm a resident of Grinnell, Iowa, and I'm a member of Occupy Grinnell. Uh, by uh, profession, I'm a, a teacher. Uh, I work at uh, Grinnell College. I teach uh, courses in computer science, and I'm the system and network administrator for a local area network that we have at the college for the uh, teaching and research that uh, my department and the Department of Mathematics and, of Mathematics and Statistics do. Um, and uh, that's been, uh, I have been a resident of uh, Grinnell since 1983. Uh, my wife and I came here. We raised two children here. 
Uh, Grinnell, Iowa is a small town of about uh, 9,000 uh, people. Uh, so, and it's in a, a rural state. It's about uh, uh, 60 miles from uh, anything that would normally be regarded as a city. Des Moines and Iowa City are both about that uh, far away from us. Um, so, it, in some ways, it's been inconvenient from time to time to be so far from the centers of power. On the other hand, I think that uh, it's given the people who live here an opportunity in some ways to reflect more skeptically or to think more critically about the uh, institutions of power without getting uh, caught up in the sort of day-to-day -day activities of New York or Washington, D.C. Uh, it's hard, I think, for people who live inside the Beltway sometimes uh, to get uh, perspective on their own basic values and to uh, see the kinds of damage that their decisions are doing to people in the parts of the country that they think of as flyover. Uh, so uh, I don't think of uh, Iowa as a great place for leaders. As I say, I'm kind of sort of skeptical about the idea of leadership in the first place. But I do think it's a good place to uh, teach gadflies how to be gadflies and to sort of to prepare the groundwork for uh, the next generation of large changes in the social and economic organization of uh, the country, even of the world. So if Occupy does everything you want it to do, what would it be like? I mean, you know, what would you think would be the best thing for Occupy to accomplish? Well, uh, I think uh, the best uh, thing that may eventually come out of this would uh, be that Occupy would form the core of the uh, organization of a new constitutional convention for the United States. I'm a very strong believer in uh, uh, civil rights and human rights. Uh, I, uh, one of our first activities in Occupy Grinnell was to uh, uh, celebrate uh, Human Rights Day on December 18th by holding a public reading of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Uh, as I was growing up, it seemed to me natural to rely on the rights guaranteed by the United States Constitution, and in particular by the uh, Bill of Rights and the 14th Amendment and uh, uh, so on, to uh, 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 protect uh, uh, my rights as a citizen and to uh, help explain to me how to function as a member of a, a democratic society. It's been very disappointing uh, to me uh, in my adult years to uh, see so many of these crucial um, elementary uh, civil rights uh, be attenuated you know, or just flatly denied or undermined uh, by the government. I really do think that eventually uh, the idea, which I think is current in uh, a lot of the uh, national government now, that the Constitution is just a piece of paper that can be interpreted any way that is uh, pragmatically useful by the people in uh, power, uh, I think that that idea is quite uh, prevalent and I think it's very destructive to uh, the trust that uh, a democratic a republic like the United uh, States depends on. Uh, so I do think there's a need for uh, an extensive rewriting of the American Constitution, uh, partly to accommodate the uh, new dangers to rights that have arisen because of the existence and prevalence of corporations, uh, but partly also to uh, remind the citizens themselves of what rights are important and uh, what um, uh, the values that uh, are associated with those uh, rights really mean to people in day-to-day -day life. Um, so yeah, yeah, I wouldn't describe that as a goal yet. Occupy is still pretty weak and a lot of people uh, seem so far to be satisfied with the uh, way we're kind of bumping along under the existing constitution. But I think as both our political and economic problems get worse, and I don't see them improving any uh, time soon, almost no matter what Occupy does. I think that there'll be more and more um, willingness to consider 
uh, what currently uh, seem like almost unthinkable alternatives, like replacing the American Constitution with something better and more heartfelt. Yeah, something that includes more heart, <clears throat> yes, indeed. Um, anything else you'd like to say? Um, yeah, I'd like to uh, sort of uh, greet my uh, f uh, fellows in uh, uh, other occupies to uh, uh, encourage you to uh, think of creative ways uh, of the sort that I've come to admire in Occupy to advance the uh, interests of the 99% uh, and to uh, come up with plans for improving and reorganizing uh, our society and economy. Great. Well, thank you very much, John. Sure.